Hi everyone, I'm Emmy Lou, and I'm going to draw you a kitten today. Kitten and cats. Very tall order because there's three things. A cat, two kittens and I'm drawing it for Molly. And I feel like Father Christmas because I'm <laughs> drawing quite a lot of pictures that people have requested and it's awesome. So please continue to request pictures. Um, it's really nice to think, ooh, how, okay, how can I draw this? Because sometimes I haven't drawn things um, before. But I want to show you my cat. My little, not sure about it but it wasn't my favourite picture but I gave it a go and that's what it's all about so there's my little cat then because you're at home and you're thinking I don't know what to paint I actually decided to paint my tuba paints <laughs> why not and a jam tart so I painted jam tart I did this about a year ago I can't remember when um, and then there's my cupcake love a cupcake um, wouldn't mind making some cupcakes today I think. So have a look at my other videos because that's where you can find how to draw a cupcake. Okay let's go. So you need paper, pencil, anything to colour it in, it doesn't matter. And we're going to start off with three cats, so one cat, two kittens. And do a circle like a cookie. So it's a bit of a wobbly circle, so wobbly cookie. Next to that, cookie, and this smaller because you've got cat, kitten, kitten. So there's going to be two little heads and one cat. Molly, hope you're following. Okay, so now we want to do the ears. So we're going to go one, two. Let's just do the ears on all the cats just so we can do it. So just easy to do it now. One there, one there. Okay. Once we've done the ears, we're going to do the nose. So we want to do this. Triangle in the middle of the circle, and then a bit like a diamond. So think about a diamond, a jelly sweet. Oh, that's so good. Jelly tots. Jelly tots are my favourite right now. Then we're going to do, it looks weird, but they're the nostrils of the cat. So it might look strange, but they're the nostrils of the cat. And then we're going to do a little line and a line down. Don't worry if this looks odd, it's fine. Then we're gonna do line down. You can pause the video if it's getting really complicated. And then like that. So that's the mouth of the cat. And then we wanna do the other bit that's underneath. You can't, you don't have to do this bit because it looks quite cartoony if you do that, but I quite like it. And then we want to do his nice big eyes. So think about a cat's got quite lovely, beautiful big eyes. So we're going to do like that. So think about rainbow, rainbow, underneath, underneath. And then we're going to do bobble, oval. I'm going to colour this bit in just because it makes it feel a little bit more like I'm getting somewhere. Because when there's lots to draw, I get a little bit overwhelmed with the lines and I just think, oh, there's so many lines. <laughs> now, because it's a cat, you know, the whiskers are going to have all of that, but we don't need to put it right now. Now, we want to do a line here. Uh, maybe a line there would be cool. So two little lines either side of the ear. Now, if you want, you can just do some little lines where the head is, like where the little eyes are. Then we're going to go for this kitten here. Right, we're going to do, we've got a shape of the face, which is a bit of a challenge. But we want to do just here, I'm going to keep it simple, just do a triangle because his head's facing the cat, facing the mummy. And we're going to do a line down, and we're just going to draw it in, draw it in there, and you're going to go up. So a line and up. Then you're going to go, woo. if you can't see this, just carry on doing the lines, it's fine. Just got a line, and now you want an eye. Rainbow, rainbow. Now because it's facing this way, just do the eye a little bit more there rather than in the middle so it's more there then just trying to think what i drew then we want to go touch this bit here and you want to go up there if this is going to look strange for now do not worry and we want the other eye almost like half an eye think about half an eye right we want to do the other ear that goes here the other ear ear Right, and then remember, 
you may need to pause this video at this point because it can get quite tricky. Now, we're going to get a rubber. And we're going to rub out. We're going to rub out inside here. I keep forgetting to get more tippets as I'm running out. Oh. Rub away. Now, you can shape the head of the cat more because this is just your guideline. The circle is your guideline. I want to rub out. I think I kind of want to rub out that line. But my run out of tippex, which is always nice, isn't it? Okay. He's got a bit of a strange face, but it's a good thing because it's a kitten. So I want to shape his face. Can you see the little kitten? I'm rubbing out that line because you don't want it to look like the Cheshire cat, not the baby one anyway, from, I can't remember what film, I think you probably remember, don't you? Okay, so there's your cat, your kitten. Let's do the other kitten's face, a lot easier, just to let you know in case you're thinking, ah. <laughs> you want triangle, line down, like that, just do it like that, don't worry too much. So it's line down, line down, then you want a nice big eye, so it's looking that way, and then another big eye, it's looking roughly the same way, it's okay. You could do a little line going down there, come on with lines there if you like. Quite nice to add lines and things like that. Now the other ear, you can't really see the other ear, it's kind of there. You could do an ear in front, Ooh. I just think cat ears, so you've got two ears there, looks a bit like a bat this one, so make sure the cat ears are a bit more pointy. Um, and then again, away we go with the rubbing out. You probably don't need to rub out too much. I'm only rubbing out a little bit. As I say Molly, it's a lot to do, but they look so cute when they finish, when we finish the picture. Right, okay. Now, I'm not happy with his face there. Well, I'm just not really, if I'm on. But I could just do that bit, little bit, small bit there. It might look a bit nicer. And then that bit becomes less like a line. But you need that. Okay, right. Now we want the bodies. We're going to put the whiskers and everything. Whew, okay, let's go. So here, touch this. Do you know what? Which bit's dry? Let's go with this bit. Touch just where the head is. And we're going to go round. So it's like you're creating a jelly bean. So he's got a bit of a tie. I mean, kittens are so cute. I had um, a bunny, actually, a baby bunny once. And it fit it, like it fit in my hand. It was so cute. So it's a little body. And then we're going to get the tail. Goes like that. And then it comes back. So make sure it sort of joins in and it just doesn't go shh. It's got to connect to the body and look really cool. Then you want to do the leg. So touch this bit here, this little jelly bean bit, and go down, and then down. They've got quite cute little legs, down, and then the back bit, down. And then you just want to do some paws. It's kind of like paws there, really. Now you can't see all of him because he's got got his mummy in front because he's kind of he's kind of got another another leg there but you can't really see it and then sort of another leg there with paws so if this is a bit tricky for you I would stick with the two legs and don't worry about the other two um, but what you want to do is rub out this little line. We never leave, need these lines on the two big legs that's nearer to us because it joins onto the body anyway. So if you're worried about these back legs, don't add them and then at the end look and think, oh, do I need them? This cat's really cute because we're touching the circle and we're going to go down and then again, line. And then at the end, you've got the cute little paws. And then you're going to just do a line here 
And then these are the arms again. Or the legs, I guess, isn't it? And then another thing there. Now this big cat, the mummy cat, its body is going... So you've got a little line there, and you're going to go... You can't do that, because I, I did that pretty quick, actually. Think about the body. So from there, we're going to do like a J, I think it is in your camera. And then line, line, line. Because these are his paws. So he's got like cute little paws. If that really is difficult, don't worry. He's behind the mummy. So this isn't the same as him. This is his tummy. So it just goes like that. It doesn't connect to this one. So don't worry if you think, oh. And then here, just do a little line because these bodies twirling around his mummy. And then we want a tail there for him. So you've got the cat and the two kittens sort of all over his mummy. Like, ah, you know, they won't leave the mummy alone. And then because he's got his body wisping round, you want a line there. So if you're not sure, find the line about there and go la 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 la. Then float, 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 paw and a paw. Because he's the mummy is, I suppose the mummy is lying down. So if you were to carry it on, this arm would probably have more of a body there. So if this is really super hard, this is the hardest one, I think, apart from maybe the koala bear. Is it the koala bear? I'd say this is the hardest one, but actually it's quite a fun one as well. Um, but if you're not sure about, I would probably go there for his little, or a bit of his body, because it might look a bit strange that he's suddenly, that he's suddenly got no body, because he has got a body, but you can't really see it. So, now we're gonna color him in, color them in. Oh, no we're not. Whiskers, let's go. Now at this stage, you can create whatever you want. So if you wanna add a collar, you can put a collar. If you wanna make the cats look more like they're chunkier, you can make them chunkier. But I really quite like them as they are, if I'm honest. It is a tricky one to do, Molly, so give it a go, and everyone else, give it a go. Now, we're going to colour it in. Right, what should we do? I like the idea. I like the idea. I don't know what colour this is. It's like a brownie green. I'm not sure if it's what you'd want your cat to be, but let's give it a go. So I'm going to do a little, little baby one. It's going to be this colour. And I, I used to love tabby cats. Oh, tortoiseshell cats. They're the most lovely. But then so is black, isn't it? And white looks quite nice. I think any cat's quite cute. So if you've got a stripy cat, you can do your cat. If you've got a ginger cat, I'm going to colour in the legs that are at the back to make it look like it's behind him. And it doesn't matter, as I say, if you haven't done all four legs, because he's only got two showing. The other two are sort of behind his mummy's body, wrapped up in hers, so... It's fine. Now this cat, I think I'm going to do dark brown. Dark brown. I actually really like the dark brown. Probably because it's like chocolate. I had a whole tub of haagen yesterday and it wasn't even that nice and I felt a bit sick. So I wouldn't recommend it. Let's just put it that way. It wasn't the uh, most tastiest. I thought it would be. I thought it was being really... Like luxurious, really like, ooh, let's have it, and it just wasn't that great. I should have just had a spoonful. Now, any colour you like. I'm tempted to say you might as well do, like, a purple cat or something. <laughs> this is purple. I'm not sure if I should do it. Just looking on the floor, because I've dropped some chalk, which is always a problem. Because I might crunch it in my, oh, my floor. Um, I found a grey. So this cat, I feel like, is going to be white. If she was white, she'd probably have white babies, but I'm going to go for something different today because I want to, and that's your right as well. If you want to do a purple cat and a pink kitten, go for it. There's no wrong to this. Just have a go. 
Right. Now, I'm d this is white, but I'm doing grey because I feel like it makes it stand out. So we're just going to smudge it all. So if you've got paint, just colour the whole thing. Or go around the edges and then colour afterwards. Ignore my tip -X, like I always say, because you wouldn't have used tip -X, so yours is going to look amazing. I quite like him because he's so cute. Oh, what should we name them? Oh, I love naming them. Arthur Samuel Tristan. It's very interesting, isn't it? Or just Bob, George, Ben. <laughs> so you, well, mind you, it's a girl, but it's fine. Right, now we want pink. Let's do a bit of a pinky colour. I've only got a fluorescent pink left, but you want a nice pink. And you want to do, normally the nose is pink. It's not normally this pink, but I can't find my pink that I love, which is a bit of a shame. And then we want to do the eyes could be a cool green. I do like a blue though. I do like a blue. So let's do some blue for the babies. Kittens. So you could just carry on and just just draw away, just carry on, carry on, make it look amazing. I really like this one. I think it's a really nice one to practice drawing with because if you're having trouble with the proportion, it doesn't necessarily matter. It's quite nice to just try different things. I'm using oil pastel over chalk, which I don't normally do. But I'm just trying it out to see what it might look like. I'm just going over some of my pencil lines. Can you see? So it's almost like I'm sketching it. And you do not have to do this, but you could also practice if you like and try it. This kind of looks kind of cool. And I'm doing this mainly because my tipex, so you don't have tipex, so you're probably going to have to do this. There we go. Forgotten their names, but they're cute. Oh, and the whiskers look awesome as well. So there's my cats. There's my cat and my two kittens. You could have their names on top. Should we name them? Because I'm going to forget. Right, this one is called Rachel. This one's called Kathy, and this one's called Bob. There we go. A cute little family. The dad's working, even though it's locked down. He has to work from home. So if you wanted to, you could do a, a dad cat there, or you could do another cat there. It doesn't have to be a dad, it could be any cat. You could do loads of baby cats. Um, but I thought it might be nice. I like adding grass. I've got this thing about I think when you add a bit of, bit of grass here and there, it kind of just sets the picture off, makes you think, oh, I'm done. And then sign your name, so that's my signature. <laughs> that looks like grass. That's my signature. Have fun, subscribe and share. Let me know what else you want me to draw, because there are a lot of requests. And as I say, I feel like Father Christmas. I am thoroughly enjoying it, so send me what you want me to draw. I think I've got about 50 things I need to get through so just let me know and I shall do them all at some point. Okay happy drawing and let me know how you get on. Mwah.